Hello guys, what is going on? It is Banji here and today I'm coming with you guys a little unboxing of a few items that uh, I picked up today and um, starting off I have a Smart Lav mic by Rode, uh, the Smart Lav Plus actually and uh, this is a microphone uh, used for smartphones and um, you guys can see, zoom in for you, you guys can see around the around the box a little bit you and improved apparently this is like the newer version of the lav mic not 100 percent sure but um yeah um i picked up this mic uh for something that i'm going to unbotch later on in this video but uh, i just wanted to show you this guys as it does relate to things that i am doing in the future so Let's just unbox this really quick. Oh, if I can try and undo this, there we go. What we got? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, it's like a really, really deep down in there. Oh, what comes like a little, little case of guy. Sorry about the really clunky lens, guys, but it looks good, so I can suffer the sound quality for the video quality. Um. A quick start guide right there. It's just a couple of pages. Oh, it's kind of like a fold out, kind of like manual kind of thing. Oh, looks like Rode Sound Booth. Well, I might have to go check that out actually. As I do need a recorder for the mic. Um, but let's see what we have in here. This is the actual Rode microphone. Um, just the uh what is this just stuff like moisture and things to getting in and um here we have a bit of velcro and the mic itself with the little extender clip thingy okay let's get some close-ups oh that was the focus ring okay here we go with the mic so it's just like this little this little guy right here that's it and uh, it clips on to this guy right here and uh, then you can put it on your t-shirt or whatever and plug this end into your smartphone which is really good and it will help me a lot with making these new videos that um, I will reveal to you guys very shortly but that is the Rode microphone well then here I'm going to put this away now and uh, I'll show you guys it all up in uh, a little sound thing uh, very shortly. But um, I'm just going to put everything back in for now. And yeah, so that is the Rode microphone. Here's a little bit of a close-up. It's kind of like a leather bag, a little bit. There you go. A bit of a close-up there. It's quite nice actually. I'm very surprised that it came with that. Uh, I got this from the Rock Shop if I didn't say before. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to use this. So uh, I might use some of the audio from this in uh, my next unboxing guys. So let's just have a look. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so after about, I'm gonna say about 20 minutes of trying to get this thing to like go on properly and I don't even know if that's actually the way it's supposed to be but it's gonna have to do for now just show you guys really quickly that is that is how it looks at the moment it looks yeah it looks kind of retarded but I think that's how it's supposed to be I'm not 100% sure but uh, I was just gonna show you guys really quickly the uh, the application they don't have it guys so that's <laughs> That's not, that's not very good. So, Rode, if you're buying this for Android, Rode don't have a dedicated app for you guys. So that is not that great. Okay guys, so this is the situation that we have here. I've just got the normal Samsung voice recorder and it says that as I plug the microphone in, that, if I can try and get this, uh, the external microphone will be used while uh, I record this. So here's the test of the lab microphone with no editing, no anything for the first time. 
Hello guys, what is going on? It is Banji here. And today I'm testing out the lav microphone connected to my t-shirt at the moment. All right, so that is it guys. Hopefully you guys heard that just exactly as I press the button. So you guys can tell me your thoughts on what you guys think about the lav mic at the moment. And uh, uh, I will then show you guys the main event, the main attraction as to why I bought this microphone and uh, everything will make sense guys, everything will make sense. Alright guys, so I'm going to be recording half of, actually I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing but I have, the lag, I have the lav mic strapped up and I have the Rode mic on my phone, uh, on my phone. On my camera the Rode Video Mic Pro and uh, I'm just gonna be recording uh, with both so in three two one okay so that should be synced up now Ooh, higher up the ISO so one's gonna be from I don't know I'm just gonna see what I will do in post but um, I will be switching between the two anyway getting into the unboxing guys here is the main, the main event where everyone has come to see what the microphone is for and um, what some other accessories are also for. But anyway guys, um, since it is summer now in New Zealand, it is uh, getting warm, it's, it's getting there, it's like slight, kind of not rainy anymore, I probably will jinx it, it's going to be rainy for the next two weeks, but it's getting dry and it's getting... Uh, rideable weather for mountain biking and because it is Christmas and there is quite a few sales going around I decided to pick up this it is the Sony FDR X3000 guys 4k recording and um, some people might say oh GoPro is better blah 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 but um I think they sh people should really look into this camera as I don't think I think this is much better than GoPro guys I really do and I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm stirring and uh, all my words and things like that uh, it is actually quite late for me and uh, it's actually what's the time now the time is 2 40 in the morning <sighs> uh, don't ask me why it's just nice and quiet right now at my house so um i decided to record this video now oh sorry but um here we go guys so let's jump right into the box nice pull tab open her up and um here we go oh my goodness this is all fancy so we got one compartment here then another compartment here okay so uh, checking the box off to the side but um both these kind of weigh about the same really this is might be a little bit more heavy but uh let's jump into this guy first um i think i'll get a little zoom up action for you guys right now right about there yeah so trying to open this up what's in here oh is the camera itself here we go it's in this plastic kind of wrap looking kind of stuff and uh here she is guys that is her looks quite innocent at the moment but uh she is capable of amazing things this thing is this uh this camera does 4K 30fps at 100 megabits per second, where GoPro only does 4K 30 or 60fps uh, if you count the new Hero 6 at 60 megabits per second. So this will have much higher quality um, videos than the GoPro, and that's uh, one of the reasons why I chose this. Um, seeing, I'll just pop this guy off to the side here, I'll zoom out again. But, uh, that is what was in the first cardboard box. And in the second cardboard box, just pop this guy over here. 
Second cardboard box is a mount. The what looks to be the charger cable. Oops. The charger cable. Go. It's just micro USB. A. Uh, I guess it's for the mount. It's just a little. Yeah, like a little mount screw mount thing to go onto the bottom of this. As this is a three quarter inch adapter. Um, and here we have the battery. Which is a lot, actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Much smaller. If it's like in two fingers. Very, very small. Um, opening this up again. Is there another way to get anything like that? Okay. Sorry guys, you can't really see, can you? Oh, it's just, um, if you guys can see down there, but it's just manuals and all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't really want to take that crap out, it's just crap. Anyways guys, let's see if I can try and undo this. With... Oh, perfect. First try, you know. Pop this guy. Oh, comes off like that. Okay. Sliding out. Wow. It's definitely uh, on the heavy. Oh, actually, I'm not too sure. It's a. Uh, it's definitely nice. It's very uh, nice and premium looking. Get a couple close-ups on it. Sorry if these shots are a little bit blown out. Shots, the menu button, and you know, NFC and all that. Top, power button, and record button. And uh, the cool thing about this camera, guys, is that it has a Zeiss stabilization. I mean, it has obstacle stabilization. Balanced optical steady shot, which short name is Boss, and I love that. That's actually so sick how it's Boss, but um, that is that camera and uh, the housing for it, which I will be using because boom, the question's out guys. I'm going to be using an external recorder microphone, which is the Rode microphone, what I'm using right now. Um, I guess we can chuck the battery in here and have a little look, see what's going on. Open. How do we open this? I have not a clue. Do this. Oh. It's just a weird tab thing. Um, go on this way? That way? This way? This way? I have not a clue to be honest. That way. That looks, that looks about right. God, that's quite, quite tedious that is. It's locked. Hopefully it's locked. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, uh, there's also a microphone port on the back. Don't know if you guys can see that. Let's zoom in again. The microphone port on the back. Right there. That I could, rec uh, could pop the microphone into but I thought it would be better just to do it off my phone so I can keep it on me but um let's go have a look oh that's actually quite loud turned it on oh, I just have to set it up guys so have to set it all up so I'll be right back as it's set up all right guys so we are back and I have the camera set up now I turned those ugly beeps off and uh, here we have the camera right now. There we go. Looking sick. Okay, I need to pop an SD card in here. And uh, then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so <laughs> it's a little bit later on in the night. But uh, I finally have the camera working. Apparently the 128GB card 
was I think it might be a little bit too much capacity for the camera I'm not 100% sure I will check in tomorrow with you guys to see exactly what's going on or in another video uh, but anyway guys this has been the the, the uh, FDRX 3000 guys and uh, I will definitely be making lots of other mic uh, mountain biking videos and all that all that kind of stuff with this camera so i hope that you guys will stay tuned for those um i just wanted to show you guys really quickly yeah, just while these files are transferring um, i want to show you guys some of the nuts that i also picked up so i got a chest mount so you guys can see a chest mount harness uh, this is so I can mount it on my chest and I have that kind of handlebar kind of point of view to the shot and uh, hopefully with the stabilization it should be a very nice and smooth shot uh, the other two that I got are the, uh, the helmet mount or the universal head mount head mount kit just adding more words to it looks a little bit like that you can't really see uh, I might make another video like more in depth maybe the review of this camera and uh, and then I just got some adhesive mounts just in case anything I need to mount it to but um, I'm in the app now at the moment for the Sony that might be a bit too dark Swipe this guy up a little bit. Anyways, I'm in the app at the moment for uh, for the action camera. It's a little bit outdated. Uh, no surprises there though. Um, but yeah, it's very easy. You just uh, create a movie, import, and time. Lapse. I'm pretty sure there is a a um, a live mode I, th I don't actually think i have the right application installed so i'll uh, go back and have a look and see if i do but uh anyways guys that is it for the sony fdr x3000 and uh, i hope you guys did enjoy this video um i certainly did enjoy making it i haven't made a uh, video in a while and i thought this would be something cool to uh show you guys and uh, plus the uh, Rode Lav mic as well uh, to go along with the setup and uh, hopefully the uh, mountain bike videos will be on another level and uh, be good. My riding not so much but uh, the camera the quality and the audio shouldn't be a problem. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like, comment, subscribe and peace out.